name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Bob died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. Thank you. Bob's children are now placing the pole on his casket, a sign of the purity of being baptized and living in Christ. And now the children, as we place the crucifix in baptism, Bob received the sign of the cross, and may he now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. You may be seated. Entrance Antiphon. May the Lord open to him the gates of paradise that he may return to that homeland where there is no death, where eternal joy endures. Let us pray. O oh God, who have set a limit to this present life so as to open up an entry into eternity. We humbly beseech you that by the grace of your mercy you may command the name of your servant Bob to be inscribed in the book of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. You may be seated to the liturgy of the word. From the book of Job. Job answered Bildad and Shuhite and said, O oh, would that my words were written down, would they that were inscribed in a record, that with an iron chisel and with lead they were cut in the rock forever. But as for me, I know that my vindicator lives and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust whom I myself shall see my own eyes not another shall behold him and from my flesh I shall see God in my inmost being is consumed with longing the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is nothing, nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. 
The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Prophecy in proportion to faith. Ministry in ministering. The teacher in teaching. The exhorter in exhortation. The giver in generosity. The leader in diligence the compassionate and cheerfulness. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another in mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Come you who are blessed by my Father, says the Lord. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus answered, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden, light. The Gospel of the Lord. To Megan and Cody, Lydia, Julie and Greg and Evan, and little Amelia. To Bob's siblings and in-laws, on behalf of the pastor, Father Tim, Tim Friedrichsen, the St. Bernard Parish family, and I, Father Tim Pick, the parochial vicar here at St. Bernard, we extend our deepest sympathies for the loss of your father, your brother, grandfather, and for those here today and watching via live stream friend. Be assured of our prayers for each and every one of you during this difficult time. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. I never had the pleasure of meeting Bob, and I must admit I feel a bit cheated about that. 
as the stories of how Bob lived his life and his gift of time and talent to the parish community is still remembered fondly. And these stories are outnumbered by the many memories of this community. Bob Scheffler, a wonderful father who raised a faith-filled family with Rosalie and then dealt with the suffering and sorrow that she endured in her battle with cancer and death in February of 2004, left to raise a family without the support of a loving wife and mother, and then dealt with his health issues in recent years that took him away from his Brita home. This man was labored and burdened some good and bad, and certainly most deserved of rest. The readings that we just heard, chosen by his children, are Bob's life presented to us too, in my opinion. We heard in the first reading Job hoping that his words were written down and that they were inscribed with an iron chisel and rock forever. Though Bob probably never spoke of the same specific hope, his generosity of talent and time were his words, sharing with his family his love of music, sharing talents and time with his parish family of St. Bernard, and finally the community of Brita as an EMT, all chiseled in the rock of memories for many and now a blessing for the same. I must also say that hearing and reading that Bob was a musician, an artist, server of very min various ministry roles in the parish, and a person who had an eye for detail brings a smile to my face. Can't see it, but it's there. As I can personally identify with all of these qualities. So Bob was a good man. Proud proof of the love and appreciation for Bob's goodness and stewardship is in a story that I heard, or I was told the other day, and full disclosure, I told the person I was going to mention her name, Mary Lou Grabner. There are many a times when Bob and other choir members after choir practice would work on banners for the church or anything else that might be needed. And many of these banners we still have today and are displayed throughout the church here. It was just one more thing that Bob could do to add to the beauty of the church environment and worship. However, I did find it a bit amusing that the work on these projects usually took place after choir practice and after benediction at Zeke's. I didn't ask any more questions what benediction was. So I'll just leave that for you all as a pleasant memory. And I hope and pray it was a pleasant memory. But as I mentioned, Bob was an artist. And he left his mark literally on this parish. I say that as, as he was a painter with his father, Shetler Studios, and they painted the interior of this church in 1978. So he definitely left his mark on the church building. But most importantly, he left, on, he left his mark on the people of the parish, the real church of God here in Breda. How fitting it was to hear then St. Paul note in his letter to the Romans, do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Bob followed these directives to the T. The perfect example how one can share his gifts with the graces given to him or her. Now, in the days and months and even years to come, Bob's family and friends will 
shed tears because of Bob's death. There will be moments of disbelief when you cannot believe the man that you love so much as dad and brother, who is always there for you, is no longer around. There will be moments when you would give anything to hug him again, to get his advice, or just be the recipient of that kind smile. Grief doesn't have an expiration date, so the tears will come. But remember this, I'm pretty confident in saying that Bob was a faith-filled man and that he should give all, and that should give us all comfort. And Megan, Lydia, and Julie, and Evan, and I believe that you too will wholeheartedly agree and are thankful for how important one's faith is in your life as these years of growing up and living across the alley from the rectory in the church on the north side of the rectory, you were always at church on Sunday. No excuses. It didn't matter how late you got back home Saturday night, you were at Mass Sunday morning. And I'm sure you all say that was a good thing. And you can thank Megan for that little fact that she shared with me on Thursday when we spoke. Nevertheless, my prayer for each of you is that your faith now be a comfort as you deal with the loss of your dad. And finally, here we are today gathered one last time to be with Bob and to remember him, to celebrate his life, and with the hope to have a bigger celebration of his life when we get through this pandemic, but especially here to pray for the repose of his soul. Together we pray that Jesus will bring him to his heavenly home, that the promise, the promise of everlasting life that he received at his baptism, and for all the baptized here in faith, has come true. And with that promise, we are sure that after being a faith-filled servant, God has always loved us in our joy, our pain, and our grief. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Bob, may the angels of paradise lead you to paradise. May the angels of paradise lead you. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. I invite you to stand for our general intercessions. My dear friends, let us join with one another in praying to God for our departed brother, Bob. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, and lay leaders of the church, that their faithful service will bring all people to a deeper relationship with Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, that together we might come to live as one, living in harmony, developing cures for pandemics, world hunger, poverty, and conflicts between races, religions, and political differences, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For husbands, fathers, grandfathers, who dedicate their lives in loving service to their families, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle and suffer from mental health issues, that we work to bring about significant change in serving their needs and health 
as Jesus did to those who he encountered. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Today we remember Bob. May he rejoice forever with all the angels and saints, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Today we remember Rose, loving wife and mother, now reunited in Christ with Bob. May they find everlasting peace and joy together, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bob's children, family, and all who loved him, that they may find peace in the midst of their sorrow, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold in our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, we affirm our faith and our hope in the resurrection of your Son, comforted by your grace and your promise of eternal life. We offer you these prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You may be seated for the Lord of Eucharist. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Give the Lord to the sacrifice at your hands. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant Bob, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any stain of sin have clung to him, or any human fault had of have affected him, it may, by your loving gift, be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You may kneel and be seated.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Rocco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Bob, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. May stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Feel free to share a sign of peace with those family members, or a wave, or peace sign.
Lamb of God, when you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, when you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, when you take away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. seated. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Bob, who today has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Just a brief little tutorial. We will conclude with communion service. We will have the final commendation and then communion service. Just some brief instructions on the communion service. At the final condemnation, the casket will be taken out. We will commence with the communion service. I ask that we kind of, everyone comes through the center aisle, so those on the side transepts just kind of work your way through the closest open pew. Be mindful of social distance with each other. And when you approach, receive the body of Christ. There's blue markings here, but maybe it's better to say the railings here. Take the body of Christ with your mask on. Do not remove your mask. And, and then step over to the railings and consume the body of Christ. And then exit out the doors. The family will go down the side aisles because the children are going to carry the casket out. But everyone else, I'd ask you to go outside and gather around the front and if you after that you're welcome to come to the cemetery for the committal service the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit go in peace Before we go our separate ways, 
Let us take leave of our brother and sister, a brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet Bob again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. To your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Bob in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, we will rise with him on the last day. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant Bob and help us who remain to comfort one another with, assur with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. you to be kneeled or seated for the communion service. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <laughs> 